All right, everybody, I am in rural Missouri. You're looking at the Mississippi River. By the way, that's Tennessee over there on the other side. Uh, the river this past fall, I guess, had gotten really low, but not now. Getting a lot of rain. You can tell that uh, the river is swollen because that sign is usually not partially underwater. It's a bit of a dreary day here. It's going to be an interesting video though guys. Uh, these towns, wow. Big modern grain elevator here. I am in the town of Caruthersville. Caruthersville, Missouri. Founded 1857. So I will uh, get in the Bronco here in just a second. Or how about right now? And uh, let's go take a look at this town. Got a flood wall here. Downtown is right over there. Going to head in that direction shortly. I'm just hanging out here a little bit. I love the Mississippi River. So I always spend a little time when I'm on its banks. It's kind of a, I think I said it earlier, crummy day here. It's uh, 46 degrees. That's what, seven, eight degrees Celsius for those of you in Europe and Australia and in South America, as I was gently reminded in one of the comment sections. <laughs> a little bit windy. You can probably hear a little wind shear. It is a Wednesday, early March. The first Wednesday of the month. Whatever the day that is. I just can't keep track anymore. But uh, anyway, yeah. All right, I'm in the Bronco. There's the uh, Mississippi River right there. Grain elevator. Let's take a look at a map real quick, give you an idea exactly where I'm at. Uh, you can see me, the blue dot there uh, with the arrow. I'm in what they call the Boot Hill area of Missouri. And uh, of course, right on the border with Tennessee, there's Nashville to the east. St. Louis up to the north and Memphis to the south. Going to head into downtown Caruthersville. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. I'll start with the population. Uh, 1960, peak population year, a little over 8,600 people. Today there's a little over 5,500 people. So it's lost quite a bit of population over the years. Let's see, the median age is 36 years old. Um, Let's see, gender breakdown, 56% female, 44% male. Now uh, you can see I'm driving through this um, uh, flood, uh, flood wall. <laughs> I'll get that spit out. Anyway, let's see, heading into downtown now. Looks pretty quaint, doesn't it? So far, let's see, per capita income, 20,800, it's about 400 a week. Median household income, 33,900, about 650 a week. That's a pretty low median household. Uh, I think when I looked at the stats, I saw that quite a few people here live alone, which would explain that. Poverty's pretty high, 25%. That's a little over twice higher than the national average. Uh, children 17 under, it's even higher, 32%. Let's see, what's the race breakdown? 55% white, 41% black, 3% Hispanic, uh, the rest is other. Now, um, let's see, another statistic that kind of stuck out. 35% of the town is married. That's pretty low. U.S. average is 52. So I'm going to drive around a little bit. But uh, the thing I have to talk about 
in this town is the crime rate because it's really high but I'll get to that in a second because uh, look at this beautiful building here it's gorgeous isn't it this is the Pemiscott County Courthouse built in 1924 that is a beautiful building Wow, check out this old water tower. Should uh, I get out and get a closer look? Yeah, I think so. This is the Caruthersville Water Tower, also known as the Lighthouse. You don't see them built like this anymore. This was built in 1903. Uh, as you can guess, uh, it's on a National Register. Uh, the base is made of brick. You can see it underneath here. And uh, it supports a water tower that would hold 40,000 gallons of water. Yeah, really interesting. I love these old things. Um, you know, you come to the other side of it and it's landscaped real nice here. But on the other side of it, uh, trash and uh, this is people's backyards look at all that wow I wanted to show you this post office they have here in town that is a beautiful building it's pretty incredible um, Okay, so we should talk about the crime. This town's <laughs> crime rate, it's really high. It's almost as high as St. Louis, which has the highest crime rate in the United States. It's higher than that of Kansas City. The overall, overall crime rate in this town is 66 per 1,000. Per 1,000 people. 66 st louis is 70. kansas city is uh, 57. so the overall crime rate here is higher than in kansas city and kansas city ranks in the top 20 in the country violent crime in this town is 24 per 1000 people uh, the u.s average is 3.9 that is six times higher than the national average that's kind of shocking. Um, let's see, property crime is not as bad. 36 per 1,000 people, U.S. average is 20, so it's, not, uh, it's less than twice higher than the uh, U.S. average. So that's kind of an odd aspect to the um, statistics, right? Usually property crime is just as high. Um, Without all being said, I'm going to look around a bit. I expect to see some, uh, you know, infrastructure that has uh, been abandoned. We'll have to see because of the uh, high population loss. I am going to shoot this casino real quick, Century Casino, because it's one of the economic drivers of the town, as you can well imagine. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm just going to get out and look around, see some of the sights here. There is a famous person that was born here, Cedric the Entertainer. Now, he's not A-list or anything, but he's pretty fair, fairly well known. Wow, look at this here. Yeah, here's some of that, uh, or what I was looking for, or expected to see, let's put it that way. Abandoned homes, this kind of population loss or the kind of population loss that this town has had, you're going to have it. That caught on fire, though. Well, let's see. I'm back in downtown. Just going to uh, cut a left here and head into residential. Look at that cool old building. Sitting there empty. 
the town has lost a lot of population so uh, kind of interested to see what we're going to find here a beautiful house there oh we got another beautiful house here amazing architecture uh, looks like it might be getting worked on that is a lot of bicycles wonder what the story is there now that's a type of architectural style you don't see every day uh, the median home value in this town is 98,400 by the way don't think I told you guys that number yet hmm Let's see what's down here kind of on the other side of town now that is abandoned don't think that one is though You guys need a mattress? <laughs> Looks like a kind of a flea market, doesn't it? Used stuff. Again, uh, the houses could use some little bit of care but really interesting architecture I really like it the big rock house there uh, loose dogs all over town it's kind of a trip now I'm going to reference back to the crime rate here uh, I saw a list published by uh, university here in the state if I remember right that listed the most dangerous towns in the state of Missouri and this city ranked second and I think if you include the big cities like Kansas City and St. Louis it ranked third this is a beautiful street though isn't it with these trees uh, that's that's kind of shocking. The highest crime city in the state is a little town called, or a small city called Potosi. That's uh, south of St. Louis. I'm going to do a tour of towns in that area eventually. But um, yeah, small towns. This is the second most dangerous city in the state of Missouri. Checking out a local watering hole. <laughs> Woody's Lounge. It's the kind of place uh, my dad would go to when I was a kid. Let's see, for those of you who like to know gas prices, there you go, $2.99. $2.99 for a gallon of unleaded here in southeast Missouri Walmart I mean let's check this out let me get up close here but um, yeah this is a former Walmart Wow you know it's pretty bad when uh, Walmart's run out of town goodness gracious I know it happens but I think this is the first time I've ever seen it. Oh, Australian series barking at me. Get back on track. Yeah, store closed, Walmart. That you don't see very often. Hmm. All right, everyone, I have arrived at the town of Haiti. I think the name is derived from the country. Pretty sure I read that. I don't think anybody knows for sure uh, but anyway 
I'm in downtown or have just arrived in downtown. We'll start with the population. In 1980, there were just shy of 4,000 people here. Today, there are 2,200. So this town has lost almost half its popu uh, almost half its population. It's quite a lot. Median age is 43. See gender breakdown: 50/50, female male. But 21% of the females here have been widowed. 11% of the males. That's a lot for both of them. Poverty rate here is 41%. Uh, that is extremely high. I don't have to tell you. For children 17 and under, 68%. It's one of the highest I've ever seen. 65 and older, it's 19%. Just kind of driving through here. I'll do the uh, race breakdown real quick. 65% um, white, 32% black, 1% Hispanic, and 2% other. Let's see, I'm going to. Uh, take a drive through this downtown one more time and head out to residential real quick but uh, we'll talk about the crime real quick again really high violent crime is 15.3 per 1,000 people that is let's see the US average is 3.9 so what's that make it uh, four times higher than the national average really high property crime 35 per 1,000 US average is 20 so uh, that's not as bad not quite twice higher that list I told you about that ranked the towns of Missouri uh, high crime towns this town ranks 12th so not quite as high as Caruthersville but still pretty high I'm gonna head into residential take a look at a street or two let's see top hat club there was probably a time when that was a happening place what do you guys think uh, not now though I wonder why all this furniture is out here looks like people hang out here doesn't it wonder what goes on here hmm. well yeah let's look around some that's a small house but uh, really good shape I like it these look all pretty much new here unfortunately they all look just alike even the same color. I mean, look at them all over here. That is the answer to the question when people ask me, why don't you go to the new neighborhoods? Because this is what you see. Houses that all look just alike. So uh, I'll see if I can find some uh, more interesting looking old homes. This would be a prime spot for a cat, but I don't see one. I see a dog. Uh, no cat. Might be too crummy a day for cats. Yeah, you can see uh, population loss here in terms of the uh, abandoned homes. Wow, look at this one here. Yeah, that's in bad shape. This one's burned down, it looks like. Yeah, these all look abandoned here. 
empty homes. Yeah, let's see. What did I say the poverty level was here? 41%. Yeah, you can really see it. Because I'm pretty sure people live in these. A lot of stuff there. Now yeah, there's another dog. No cat. Hey fella. Hey guys, I think I see a cat. Yeah, there he is, finally. I'm gonna sneak up on him so he doesn't run off. Can you see him by that car? There, there he is, just hanging out. Hey there, fella. <laughs> Cat sighting acquired. It's always good. Because I know how you guys get when I don't uh, find a cat. It's not pretty. Yeah, this guy here, he's having a good time. Looks like. Had some headphones on. Appeared that he was listening to some music. I know you always wonder about shopping, so uh, I think they have the trifecta here. There's the Dollar Tree and the Family Dollar. Right there. And then, not to be outdone, right up the street. Dollar General. There we are. They got all three here. Well, okay. I've seen enough here. I'm going to head to the next town. Well, everybody, I'm driving into Kennett. Kennett, Missouri. It's a pretty big town. 10,500 people here. Peak population was in 2000 when there were 11,260. So it's lost a little population, but uh, not that much. Uh, I am in downtown, as you can see. Let's see, there's a county courthouse right here. That's a side view though. We're going to have to see it from the front. Am I right? What do you guys think? Meanwhile, let's see some of the numbers. Median age is 34. Uh, let's see, gender breakdown, 53% female, 47% male. Median uh, household income, 50,100. Almost a thousand a week. So, uh, incomes in this town are a little bit higher than the uh, past two. Let's see, the race breakdown, 74% white, 17% black, 4% Hispanic, 5% other. Now we'll take a look over here. Let's check out this courthouse, huh? We drive downtown. Dunklin County Courthouse. That is a beauty. Let's see. I know they have an old theater here, the Palace Theater, built in 1916. I don't think it's in operation right now, which is a damn shame because I saw pictures of it. It looks beautiful. And there it is, and it is beautiful. Hopefully, uh, they'll get something done with that. Let's see. Shopping. Well, there's a family dollar already. I'll take a right down here. Take a look. Uh, let's see. Daily Duncan Democrat. Looks boarded up. Gone the way of many newspapers this day, or these days. 
I'm gonna drive through downtown to the other side. Now, we gotta talk about crime. Because like in the other two cities, it is high here. But statistically different. Now their overall crime rate is 40 per 1,000, which uh, makes it 10th highest in the state. Their violent crime here is 7.7 .7 per 1,000. U.S. average is 3.9, so it's actually not quite twice higher than the U.S. average. Uh, property crime. That's what's high here. Uh, property crime. Property crime is 61 per 1,000. U.S. average is 20 per 1,000. So property crime here is three times higher than the national average. All right. Uh, so, let's check out some residential. Uh, let's see, I didn't tell you median household in, or median home value yet. 88,000. A little bit higher than the other two towns. And uh, you can see it, some nicer houses here. Really interesting. Look at this beauty here. And then right next door to it, another one. Yeah, they have some beautiful homes here. I see, I didn't give you a poverty rate yet, 19%. So that is better than the other towns as well. Another beautiful home right here. Uh, this town, oh, here's another one. Yeah, they got some gorgeous houses here. Am I right? Really beautiful. This town, uh, as I was saying, is home to someone, or is the birthplace of someone very famous. Uh, Sheryl Crow, nine-time Grammy winner, uh, sold 50 million albums. Uh, this is where she was born, right here in Kennett, Kennett, Missouri. Let's see, I'm coming upon a, a cemetery. A real small house there. That's really small, isn't it? I wonder what a house like that would sell for. What do you guys think? You see the low home values here. 88,000 in this town and you wonder how it's possible, but then you see these really small houses. I guess it kind of makes sense. I'm curious. Yeah, I'm curious what that house would sell for. Anybody got an uh, idea? Post it in the comments. This one looks empty. Uh, it is empty. Let's not kid ourselves. It's boarded up, but I mean, what do you think that would sell for? I mean, do you think what? Under 50,000 for a house like that right there? It's so fascinating, you know, I read in the news this morning that millennials are unable to afford homes, not just because of interest rates, but because they're so expensive. Uh, not in these towns, though. I mean, what does that one go for? It would have to be cleaned up, obviously. You think that's Shell Crow's house? <laughs> she probably doesn't live here, does she? Um, anyway, we have beautiful homes along here. Um, yeah, going ahead to the next town. I'm not going to check stores because they have a Walmart here. Yeah, town of 10, 11,000 people uh, is going to be big enough for a Walmart. So uh, let's go ahead to the next town. The numbers on this town are really interesting. So that's coming up next. Uh, let's see, I drove by this. Uh, this looks like a mobile home graveyard. Because there's no way that uh, people live here in these. 
there's just this big long line of them and uh, you can tell that they sit empty all the doors are open wow I don't think I've ever seen anything like this I guess this was a park where people lived at one time a, a mobile home park but uh, no more I mean that one is just completely falling apart I got some mattresses here on the ground Wow people generally don't like it when I say this but I'm getting a deliverance vibe <laughs> totally from here yeah I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna turn around and get out of here looks like a few people live at this end of it all right everyone I am in Cardwell uh, let me show you on the map because uh, give you an idea what's going on here you see it started up here in Caruthersville that's the Mississippi and Tennessee and this is the boot so basically went all the way here to the other side of the Missouri boot heel uh, that's where I am and this is Arkansas this um well well what can I say driving into town it's bleak this town has got some, oh, I don't know how you say it, pretty rough numbers. We'll start with population. 1920, there were over a thousand people here. Today, there's just over 500. Uh, during the year between 2019 and 2020, according to the census, this town lost 37% of its population in one year. Um, I'm trying to understand how that could have happened. But here's some of the other numbers. Uh, well, let's see. The median age is 24. Let's do that first. Gender breakdown. Um, female, 54%. Males, 46%. 15% of these uh, of these females are widowed. Here's the race breakdown. 89% white, 6% Hispanic, 5% other. Median household income is 38,300. See, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, this is, is this a church? It's got cars in front of it. Even though I don't think they run. Okay, uh, here's poverty though. 49%. Uh, really high. That means pretty much half the people who live in this town live at or below the poverty level. Children 17 and under, it's 43%. That's actually a little better than overall. I'm a little surprised at that. Now that's very, uh, really illegal. <laughs> Doesn't look like he cares, though. Okay, well, anyway. The unemployment rate in this town is 14.6%. 14.6 that's super high 59% of the people who live here have graduated high school US average is 85.5 that really sticks out and uh, let's see median age is 24 it's young it's a young town um, crime is high Violent crime, 8.6 per 1,000. U.S. average, 3.9. So it's over twice higher than the national average. Violent crime. 
property crime 40 per 1,000 US average 20 so uh, property crime is twice higher than the US average and uh, here's the kicker median home value and let me turn the camera over here as I do tell you this number it's 38,000 I mean that's can't even get a car for that anymore maybe a used one that's astonishing they got a Dollar General and there is a gas station here too I uh, can't tell how much gas is but uh, it looks yeah, it looks like a modern fairly new place doesn't it all right well I'm gonna head back into the town then yeah the town has lost over half its population you can kind of see it quite a few abandoned homes one right here another one right here this one is just disintegrating just rotting into the ground Looks like there's a mattress in there well I asked the question in the last video and I'm gonna ask it again here see what you guys think knowing that the median home value here is $38,000 uh, what do you think that house right there with the dog right there? Me? That house right there, what do you think that's worth? Or even that one there, what do you guys think? It's crazy. Let's see, they do have fire and police though. There is a fire department. Right across the way here downtown the police department so they've got those services here but other than that there's nothing happening here in downtown except for this uh, post office there's a post office right here yeah so there's all that Cardwell Missouri post office all right, everyone, that's going to be the end of this video. We are going to head up into Kentucky next and do a rural town video there. So that's coming up next. Be looking for it.